Hello guys and welcome back to Korea finally! It's been a month. I feel like it's even been longer since you saw me in Korea. I swear we've been home for like three weeks now I think and I have left the house a handful of times. Like I have not been out of my house and I've been playing too much PlayStation and apart from that I've been just editing all of the Europe vlogs. Like I have not been very social. I think I've met people two, three times maximum. <laughs> And my mental health is really struggling because of it. I feel drained from energy. I feel kind of like easier to fall into these depressed moments. And just in general, I just don't feel myself and I don't feel good. So I want to try to like focus on getting out more this week. I've ordered myself a kimchi bokkeumbap. I don't have any plans to see people today, but I would like to go out and start to buy fabric because I want to make an artwork for this wall. I feel like my house is too empty, it's too bland, it's too gray. So I want to find like some fabric that I can paint on and like hanging up on the wall. So that means we're going to Dongdaemun Arts and Craft Market, one of my favorite places in Seoul. really go out and like just do little things that I normally do at home in a cafe instead. It feels so refreshing to actually get ready and get out and just, I don't know, experience a change of scenery. It motivates me a little bit. I don't really know how to explain it, but from now on I'm definitely gonna do that a bit more. Success! I found what I needed to find and Yay. I also found something else. She found me! <laughs> and Jolina came Straight back from, from uh, vacation. Yeah. Oh, oh, we both spent time in Europe and like look at the difference. Oh my god, and I usually don't tan that well, oh but um, this time I was really deter deter determined, determined to get determined. tan. I was just like, yes. I'm so jealous. Well, also you you had like a little more of like a leisurely yeah. holiday than I and did. And you went more like a city, city Europe. Yeah. I went more like island. I went like Which is the best kind of Europe. I know. It was so good. I, I didn't know. Like but you know, at, at some point you kind of get I, I know it's such a, such a thing to say, ah, I'm tired of islands, I love travels and hot European men. Uh, ah. But then you got tired for, from the like island and sun and you want to go to the culture and to the city. Yeah, that's actually true. But oh my god, it's always so confusing in that place. Every time I go to like find jewelry items or like fabric or whatever it is, then I want to go find it's so confusing. Mm. Just finding like a white piece of fabric took me. 30 minutes. Oh yeah, they have because they have everything. Like so everything. And each booth has different textures, but it's so good. And I just realized that it's like 4, 10 p.m. or something and I have not had any food today. Aww. Let's go, know. let's go put some food into you. Yeah. And we want some Korean food. We found some really nice place in Samcheongdong, so that's where we're gonna go. This is like super like cultural Hanuk museum area of Seoul. Yeah, in Sadong, right? We love it. <clears throat> Yeah. <laughs> I think. Mm -hmm. Was it in here? You sure that was it? It was called or something. Oh, 
dum dum in Korea, when it rains a little bit, it's kind of like a tradition or a thing that people just do is to get hajeon and makgeolli. Hajeon mm -hmm. being like the Korean pancake, makgeolli being rice wine. Yeah. So and that's you know, what we're gonna do. You know why? You know, you know actually why? No, why? The sound of hajeon uh, cooking in the hot oil. Like the, like a, so the, the sound of like cracking is the same as the rain. So like when people hear the rain, it reminds them. It reminds them of the pajang and the oil. Like. So it's actually not because it's a tradition. It's because it makes people crave pajang when it rains. Yeah, yeah. See, I didn't know that. See, this is why you are friends with Angelina. Family, like very Yeah. Oh, I'm so excited. Thank you. 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 Sweat me up from my feet down. The rain sings. Cups mark. Good evening. Oh, it is 7.30 right now. We had dinner really early, so that's why I'm home already now. I thought I would kind of like do my evening routine already, just so that I can, you know, um, get into the sofa and play my PlayStation, to be honest. I just know that if I don't start my evening routine now and I do it after I have already gotten into the little toxic cycle of playing my PlayStation, then I will not be able to do all of the things that I actually want to do for my evening routine. So we're doing it now instead just to make sure that I'm getting things done. I know myself way too much by this point, guys. <laughs> it's crazy. I'm gonna remove my makeup with the Sint Lavender Dream Oil Cleanser. I always use this cleanser. It's my brand, Sint. It's my baby. At its utmost basic, the one reason that makes Lavender Dream Oil Cleanser different from any other cleansers out there on the market is that it only has six ingredients. This cleanser only has the absolutely necessary ingredients for you to one, cleanse your makeup, cleanse your face, not dry out your skin and also prepare your mind for the night to come. Basically the main ingredients or the main point of this cleanser is the lavender, of course. Lavender has numerous effects. It has been first and foremost been used in both biblical references and also other religions as a flower that purifies basically. Apart from that, lavender has been used in so many ancient civilizations for curing insomnia, which is why we are hearing about all of these uh, different ways of using lavender oil inclusion in your evening routine for better sleep. Basically, that's why I chose lavender for this cleanser, is so that you can also calm your mind, which calmness is a huge key talking point when it comes to lavender, and also prepare yourself for the night. Relax everything, stop this wandering of thoughts and pretty much just set the tone for the rest of the evening and for your good sleep. As a last point of this cleanser, seriously, it just melts off your makeup as you could see probably on those clips. As in any other of my videos, the link to all of these products are down in the description box below. Makeup. I didn't. I'm like. I know. I did it. I'm gonna be diving. So. <laughs> I'll be diving. Do, do you want to play mermaids? <laughs> I did. Yeah. Yeah. Let's ah. play mermaids. Did anyone ever watch H2O? Just before? Oh my god, you did. Oh my god. Cheers. 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 To you. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. To your marriage and to you. Mm -hmm. Did you taste the salty sweat? I did. Oh. I was like, wow. <laughs> she didn't go back in for more. This Danish meal is pretty salty. <laughs> you know, they usually say us white people don't know how to salt our food, but I'm a snack, I guess. She's a, she's a yummy one. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty amazing. That was nice. Oh, 
step. Go step. Pop in the champagne. <laughs> Sprayed everywhere. Ah! Ooh, party's on. Muscles. Silver dress, sparkle eyes, crystal blue. and welcome to a beautiful Saturday. You know, I really haven't been up early any time since coming back from Europe. I feel like my clock is still messed up, but today we kind of like had to because it is Hattie and Jin's wedding day today. So, mm. I'm getting ready to go and celebrate them. went with the good old basics, just a black eyeliner and some lipstick. I was thinking of doing this skirt maybe with some heels, oh, but it's just so frustrating because I actually have bought this dress, like a super like dolly, princessy, I don't even know how to describe this, but it's just so cute, um, but it's a little bit too short, which is so sad. I was just looking forward to wearing this so much. Okay, I think we figured out the outfit. It ended up not being as kind of like summer bright as I wanted it to be but I couldn't just I just couldn't make the like skirt work so we went with a little matching set here and then I actually borrowed these shoes from Hati herself I was visiting her house a couple of days ago and um, she said I could borrow them and I think it does a cute little like accent to the outfit okay now we are like legit late so let's go in Korea and for weddings it doesn't really matter if you wear black or white it just matters if you wear something like strong colors and that might outshine the bride so that's why i've always been so confused of what to wear at weddings and last time i we went to a wedding here for jake's cousin i was like oh i can't wear black i can't wear white blah 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 blah, blah. what am i gonna wear what am i gonna wear and then i showed up and i had like i wore the most horrendous outfit and i show up and everyone is wearing black <laughs> <laughs> Hello everybody. Just a few words to you. Let's meet three years ago. I'm not the only lady. I'm too my goal to find my own place. I 
have committed myself to this like 21 day meditation by Deepak Chopra. Um, he's a man I look up to a lot just in general and I didn't know he had this and I just realized that he had this 21 free meditation course on Spotify. I think it's on other podcast sites as well. Um, I'll leave what it's called down here but basically I've never really stuck to meditation. I have always used it when I really, really, really needed it, like when I was super stressed or when I like just were out of myself, then I've used it as like a coping mechanism, but I've never really used it to reach higher spaces inside of myself. And I think I really, like I know, I really want to actually do that. I sometimes feel like a fraud because I'm talking about all of these things that is good for you but not a lot of them I'm actually doing myself and following through all the time I do all of them some of the times but usually only when my body pressures me to do it because I feel so bad that's why I am taking up this meditation challenge or whatever it is if you want to do it with me please um, let me know and we can have a little chat about it and hold each other accountable DM me on my Instagram <laughs> either way thank you for following with me today I'll see you tomorrow Good night. I was listening to this podcast by um, Paul Czech. It was about, you know, um, embodying the female side of you, especially for women who has been a little bit, you know, over masculine. A lot of women, I think these days are feeling way too much in the masculine because that's how we know how to survive as women here in this, you know, very masculine world. I just really connected with lots of them and it made me really passionate in the sense that I really kind of need to find back into my feminine in the sense if you're starting to feel you know less connected when it comes to sex and when you're starting to have more pain in your pelvis region or like from your periods or when you start to like constantly feel like you're a tiny bit sweating all the time because your body is being pushed so much or if you feel like fatigue from too much thinking in your head like I don't remember all of the things that she said but I just really connected to it so deeply so I've been taking a little bit like time for myself this morning I put on cream gave myself a good massage and I even curled my hair because I felt so like cold to just I don't know be with myself a lot and you know show myself some love in that sense and most importantly some feminine love and it makes so much sense because the past couple of weeks, that I, as I told you, they've been feeling like so lost from everything because I felt like this sense of pressure of figuring out new ways to venture into my business, dealing with very official stuff like visa and visa renewal and all of that stuff, which takes a lot of fucking stress on the mind. And then also just like in general sitting and working and like constantly wanting to do something new but not being able to and being very much in this masculine state and it's like it's like squeezing the water out of me it's squeezing the femininity out of my body like a wet cloth or something like that so I want to spend some time with my sisters today and I want to pamper myself and drink good coffee and really feel into my body today that's the goal for sure I'm seeing Stephanie now we're going to a cafe and then I am heading over to Robin's place with Stephanie and we're gonna have some dinner so just like spending some time with my girls maybe we're gonna go out dancing later who knows because I'm not usually a person who likes dancing to be honest I hate it but for some reason I'm feeling really called to moving my body today maybe that's what we're gonna do the same as your pain you have glass and I have
this is like it said that it was their recommendation it's like a baked peach with vanilla ice cream yep. um okay god my little baby bag look at that and they put in new screws it was like this one that was ruined it's almost falling off you got a screw loose. I got a screw loose. <laughs> That's one screw they can fix. <laughs> Wait, why did he? Did they reset all of my settings? Oh, well, maybe they did. Let's change it. One, two, three. Hello. That's cute. Oh, yeah. I saw this last time and I was like, I really want it. I was about to say yes. this. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Thank you. You're so cute. You're so cute. You're so cute. Oh my god. I'm looking at the ceramics, the honey is looking at the dog. <laughs> mosquito bite right in the middle of my forehead and I already had a pimple to show for Like to stop? Is it like a that? Yeah, yeah. Let's, let's be classy. Okay, let's be classy. <laughs> oh, it's very naturally. Look at you, just so happy. Robin's <laughs> house is so gorgeous. This is exactly the vibe that I want to get for us. Right, amazing. Yeah. Like it's amazing what they've done. And then look at this floor, all like dark wood, newly laid. to sketch what I wanted to paint on the fabric here. I wasn't really sure what I wanted to have on it, but I think I've kind of like reached a point where I'm like, okay, this is what we're going for. It might be a little crazy and a little woohoo looking, but like I had these certain images that I really wanted to include, which was a sun. I really wanted a sun in here with a face on it. I don't know why, it just gives good energy and also because the colors in here, like the brick color of the chair and the warmness of the sunlight coming in because of the wooded blinds, it's just really warm and sunny. So I kind of wanted to tie that all together with a sun and then Jake, he loves Saturn for some weird reason, he just loves Saturn and he also loves the yin and yang symbol. So I, <laughs> I would include it, the yin and the yang and then the Saturn in it as well, and then I included Jake's um, star sign, Pisces constellation, and I included the Virgo constellation. And then because I, there was like yin and yang and such, and I had the sun, then I was like, okay, the sun is very masculine. I kind of want to add 
you know, the moon as well, to balance it out with Saturn as well, and the moon is, you know, a feminine force, so <laughs> it just became a lot of, like, universe, um, so I don't even know how it's gonna look, but um, this is what I came up with so far, and now I think I'm just gonna, like, trace it down on the little fabric with a pencil, and then I'm gonna start to, like, you know, plastic up everything so I don't put paint anywhere, and then start the painting. Stepping out the shadow in my room Caught between cowboy clouds and misty moon Silver dress sparkles crystal blue <sighs> I feel like I've listened to a million episodes of In Hindsight I'm listening to that podcast a lot It's just, um, it's very like comforting in a sense So that's a recommendation from me But I'm finally done sketching in everything except for the constellations. Those I'm gonna add in the very end, but I'm, I've sketched in everything that I needed to sketch in and now I'm about to paint. I just taped up all of the floor. You know, a couple of months ago I made this video where I talked about like creativity and doing something for no reason at all and I've tried that throughout that video and I've tried to think a lot about it and also try to do it again after making that video but I think I just have to realize that my mind and you know I'm sorry to always bring astrology into this but like as a Virgo I would say everything that I do creativity creatively or not like I really value having a purpose like for example this i'm enjoying it so much but what is making it super truly enjoyable for me and also like for wanting me to like finish it and go through with it even though it's been a hassle getting everything is because i know that it'll hang up on my wall and it will look beautiful in my apartment and i don't know it just honestly brings a lot of passion into the game Life can swim 